All right, God bless these 10 hour versions of songs. We are <laughs> gonna be doing a video on JP content because uh, this is essentially a way for me to kill a whole bunch of time while I wait. Why does my camera look so good right now? Amazing, distracting. Anyway, uh, we're gonna be taking a look at uh, the uh, JP content uh for the month of the july we got some news we got some a little bit of news and this is a way for me to essentially while i'm waiting for the oberon banners to uh go up this is a little bit of a time killer for me so yeah let's let's get right into it what can we expect for the month of july well of course oberon is the uh first thing that comes to mind and one of the things that i'm the most excited about because leader of the hindra nation uh potential or potentially just really good in a lot of different teams looks amazing in that armor and uh if my hair was just a little bit lighter we'd uh we uh that might actually be me uh if you're asking when the cosplay is going to happen i have no idea but taking a look at this character we do get a little more details from the in-game post hp up by 10 percent and uh not only that but single attack resistance up by 10 so already looking like this character might be a little bit more of a defensive support character which i am totally vibing on so awesome great news uh sweet uh continuing on there will be a new map uh looks to be a height elevation probably uh and unsurprisingly uh made just for the fact that we are getting a brand new dragoon and dragoons love leveraging that height advantage over a lot of other units so probably not a great one for gunners but uh fantastic for dragoons we'll have to wait and see archers uh they'll be fine uh book schedule nothing really much interesting there uh this is probably something that we're gonna have to talk about in another video so let's just scroll back up as is the usual for the jp side we are going to be seeing some extra bonus training missions these are basically daily training missions to help you get more resources so that you can build the uh, newest of characters for those who end up getting them and if not it's still a potential way to get some extra resources so those of you who play the game will probably want to do them isn't that like the, the laziest recommendation you've ever heard in your entire life but that is not all uh, surprising to me. Uh, we are getting another side story with new characters. My God, ah, oh, you know, I love it. I'm always really happy to see more characters because Wodu, I, I actually really like the designs of a lot of Wodu characters, minus a few detail points, but this is great. Uh, I, I am just always so happy to see more and more characters in this game with new designs and everything. And it's just always a question of when are they going to enter? Because it feels like there's just this, ever since book two has come in, there's just this massive explosion of all of these characters being shown off in like side stories and regular story. And it's just like, I, I don't know when we're ever going to get all these characters. Maybe start making some more MR characters there, Gumi. Anyway, new side story with three brand new characters as well as Oldoa. Very excited because I love the side stories. They're usually pretty damn fun. And um, gotta say, who's the cutie? And who's the uh, who's the Barra guy? And Lucio? Anyway, uh, to note, uh, much as I kind of thought there was going to be, we have a brand new weapon, a brand new spear. Now, it is the Elemental Spear, uh, or the Elemental Pole. And it, anyway, it, it's essentially a new spear weapon, and it is billed as being Elemental, so I'm going to be very curious to see whether this is just a all-Elemental weapon. Is this just a Earth Element? Is it just going to be a mass amount of defense penetration on this? No clue, but you can bet I'm going to be farming the heck out of this because if it is an Earth Spear, shout outs to Eileen fans out there. Yeah, this might be it. And if not, might just be good for all the Spear units. So great, really excited for the side story, moving on. All right, uh, for the monthly logins, as you can see, Oberon is going to be the uh, big thing to get throughout the entire month. Uh, full stuff, not really too much else to say there. Moving on, we do get the EX schedule for this month, and, um, well, gotta say, 
pretty much confirms what we essentially knew was going to happen. Um, Adelard as well as Sari are, are getting those. Uh, Naya is getting hers. And uh, last but not least, certainly not least, the third week will be Summer Lilith and Summer Ketone are both getting their EX. So yeah, that this essentially confirms that in the third week of the month, we are getting the beach units back. Uh, no idea at this point whether there, or not there will be a new beach unit or anything, but the old ones will definitely be returning if they are getting their EXs. I, if I was to guess what's going to happen, I would assume that these two units will get a repeat banner with uh, some limited time stuff that's been out and gone for a while on JP. And I don't think we're going to get a new summer unit. Uh, I think we're actually going to get kind of another uh, Ramir character. Uh, basically a character where we all get the first copy of the character by doing the event. And uh, the rest are gotten... You can get the up get that character up to LB3 and then the rest you just need to get their shards. So I think one of these three characters will end up being essentially a free up to LB3 character and uh, that will be happening about the same time as the summer units. Just a guess, but uh, I feel it's a good guess. Either way, I also think that's probably an, an indication that uh, Global is probably going to see these in the next two weeks. Maybe as well. Not, again, 100% sure, but I'd be really surprised if the summer units are not coming in the summer, given that uh, they're only now getting their versions on the J the EX versions on the JP. And uh, that means they'll probably be, be good enough still even for global. Summer Lilith has an insta-kill ability for Zaz and the unkillable. Sure, why not? Other than that, 15,000 downloads, uh, some logins, uh, some, you know, usual blah 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 stuff. And then we get to the Oberyn banners, which is the really interesting part. So let's see. Primary banner, as per usual, will come with the uh, standard. If you get 2,000 coins, you can get the character kind of thing. Pretty standard at this point. The nine step up, which is also pretty standard, unlike... Some of the previous ones, though, the uh, coins are back on this, which is pretty nice. It means that if you are trying for Oberyn, you still essentially get it. I guess the last month with Jaden. Uh, not having the coins didn't help their sales. So good to see these coins back as you always want to be working towards your end goal of getting the character, even if you do have to pity them. And what a pity it would be. Uh, five UR unit reroll. Don't think that there's really much else to say here. If you want it, I guess. Uh, continuing on, there will be a special 2K paid banner that will give 80 Oberyn shards. I guess you know if or Oberyn mine spheres. Uh, good, a good get for anybody who is you know raising Oberyn if you are spending money. And speaking of good gets for people spending money, there is the uh, this step up makes a return once again. It is five steps, but as you can see, 2,000, 150, and 1,000 all paid. So you're getting essentially 4,500 for three guaranteed URs and approximately, uh, what are we looking at? 50 summons uh, with three guaranteed URs in there. So, And uh, I do believe that it does have the up rates for Oberyn as well. So that's all good. If you are trying for Oberyn, you should probably try on this banner. Do you hear that, Umber? Yeah. Anyway, gold banner will return, and all of that stuff is good. And from there, we just get uh, some 15 million downloads stuff and uh, whatnot if you're really interested in purchasing things. So yeah, uh, that's about it. That's uh, what's looking like, the, giving us a good hint for what the rest of the month is going to be like with the summer units. I, I do think that um, with the summer units, they kind of need to throw something. I, I don't get the impression that they have a new summer unit because there's been no hinting towards it. There hasn't been any kind of dropped hints. And given what's happened also with some of the repeat events on JP with like Final Fantasy 1 and whatnot, uh, just essentially redo the event. So that seems like a good time if you're doing those limited characters again to potentially throw in, I don't know, maybe a banner with, maybe a Velric banner, actually. That that actually maybe makes a little more sense. Where where was it? Where you get, like, 
two of the units. One's like up free and up to LB3 and one's in the gotcha. We use more UR guys. But uh, anyway, hoping for this unit is my um, <coughs> bias. Anyway, so I'll be doing polls on live stream approximately uh, at midnight Japanese Standard Time. I think that this is gonna, video is going to go up about 10 p.m. Uh, Japanese Standard Time. So about two hours after this video, uh, the update should be live. I'll be doing reviews and looking at this character and doing polls. So if you feel like joining, join in. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Oh, gotcha gods. Please bless my polls. Hallowed be thy iron, Jesus. See ya.